Okay, a reasonably quick video here just to show you um, some of the techniques you can use in Word um, in order to format your document and make it look good. So, as an example, I'm taking the first part of the criteria for the OCR A level project, and uh, that's got a number of headings that need to be put in. So, imagine this is a report, there's a number of headings that need to put it, be put into this report. I'm starting here with a blank document. Um, I'm going to enable its contents and um, ignore that. And the first thing I'm going to do is insert a cover page. So I'll insert the cover page. I'll create a fairly boring one here. Um, let's go for that. Um, it gives you a number of fields. Some of them you may wish to use, some of them you may not wish to use. What I'm going to use is the company name to put in the the code uh, from OCR. Um, my programming project as the main heading. Obviously yours would be something more along the lines of uh, building an EPOS cash register or something along those lines. Document subtitle um, A2 Computer Science 2018. Fantastic. And it already auto fills with um, my name, and I can use this for uh, today's date. Now, obviously, that's in American order. If you want to change that, you can. There are some settings in there, but I'm not too worried about that at this stage. This second page I reserve for my table of contents. So, up here in references, insert table of contents, gives you a few different styles. The first one's the easiest. And uh, don't worry about the fact that it says no entries found because there are no entries yet. It's a blank document. Okay, so I'm going to insert a page break, which means jump down to the next page. Now I'm going to start copying and pasting over my headings. So these are the headings here, and I want to copy them. Come on, let me copy. There we go. I was going to do those one by one, but because it was a bit awkward. I'm going to take the whole lot together, so that's Control C, and I'm going to Control V that in there. Now, that doesn't look very good. It's very difficult to read. It's there's no real obvious place where one starts and one finishes. So I'm going to undo that, Control Z, and I'm going to go to Paste and see if there's any other way of pushing that in. Well, that's a bit odd. That is text only, but at least it's got the bullet points. So I'm going to choose that way of texting. So the first one, describe and justify uh, all features that make the problem solvable by computational methods. So I'm going to take the whole of that. Um, and what I want to do is I want to turn that into a heading. So I'm going to click on heading one up there. And that will enable me to put it into the table of contents. The next thing I want to do is I want to um, add some sort of number system so I'm going to modify the heading I what I did I went up here and I right clicked over the heading so this is in the home area right click over heading and then choose modify and uh, if you want here you can change the color so you can make it slightly darker blue slightly lighter shade of gray or whatever you want I'm not too bothered about the color really although I do think that blue is a bit ugly um, and I'm going to format the numbering and I'm going to choose just the, the straightforward one, two, three numbers style. And I'm going to click OK there. And I click OK there. And what it does, that numbers now all of my paragraphs. Not paragraphs, headings. And what it means is I can refer back. I can refer back in section one, you can see, which is um, a very good way to cross reference things in your document and saves you having to write things out twice. Now, the other thing I want to be sure of is that I don't want. Um, each heading overlapping so I want to make sure that this heading starts on a new page and this heading starts on a new page as well so I'm going to go back into heading 1 again I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose modify this time I'm going to choose paragraph and um, it gives you some uh, things that you can modify in here such as the gap between the lines etc I'm not worried about that, what I'm worried about is that we have a page break before this happens 
so that means everything starts on the new line click OK click OK again and let's just change to a 2 not quite sure why okay it's because it's given this one heading 1 as well so I'll, I don't really want that to happen so what I'll do is I'll change that to a different style maybe a strong or maybe a quote or something um, but I don't want that to be heading 1 what I'm going to do I'm going to take off that there's a thing in here called clear 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 where is it okay can't see it so I'm just gonna unclick that um, and I'm gonna leave that alone not quite sure what that is hey, I'm just flicking through some of these styles see if I can see something that I prefer my table of contents I'll leave it as that that looks good enough and it's the heading ones that I'm concerned about here okay so this next one here uh, I'm just gonna bring it all into line and uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna click on heading one and see what happens okay I've still got the two bullet points it hasn't taken those off so I'll just take those away but it has stuck it on the new page automatically and it has meant I've got slightly less work to do Okay, just put in a carriage return there so it doesn't get them mixed up. I know to take the the bullet points off now. And that's a new heading. I'm going to bring that back to the start. And heading one again. So just by clicking heading one. Um, not sure why that. Because the line under it. So I've just right clicked that and it's gone away. Get rid of these bullet points. Delete that. Um, and that's it that heading so heading one again again take away the bullet points there we go and um, put in a carriage return just because I don't want it merging accidentally with that heading one and same thing again take away the bullet points carriage return make everything uh, in line and heading one again and then finally, the last one here, for my analysis section. And heading one again. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom up to table of contents, which is there. And obviously I've got some content now, so I'm gonna right click over this, I'm gonna choose update field. And there we are, there's my analysis section in there. Now if I chose, next thing we might need to do is um, you might look at that and you might think well okay that's great but I don't know on what pages anything is. So what you can do, you can scroll down, you can uh, double click on a footer and then you can click on header and footer tools, click on page number and we want something at the bottom of the page. I like this because it says how many things are in the page, how many pages are in the document and it says how far through we've got so I like that one in the header I might want to put my name and I might want to put the project what the project is and uh, that is pretty much it I've now got a, a reasonable looking document I've got page numbers in there I've got everything that needs to be done and now I can start typing um, and it's uh, you know for 10 minutes work it's quite a few pages any teacher would be pleased if at any point you do any extra work obviously these page numbers won't be quite right so you need to right click and just update the fields you can update the page numbers only or I always for safety sake update the entire table and there it is that was where I was messing about with levels but ignore that um, job done Bob's your uncle yeah hope that helps